Christian. Yes, and let's start you out with a look at the radar and some good news out there that one lone isolated thunderstorm is now weakened to just uh, light showers that continue to diminish across the Anne Arundel area, uh, county area this morning, just to the north of Arnold and south of Severn this morning. Again, just a few spotty showers there. Now, if you're headed out the door in that area, uh, just a small umbrella will suffice as these continue to die down around Crownsville this morning as well. We head over the bay to the eastern shore and we can see some light rain showers. That's it. Just very spotty in nature around Denton uh, this morning as well. So around Caroline County. So we're not dealing with that heavy rain anymore this morning. We're not dealing with um, a whole lot of activity uh, through much of the day. But then by the afternoon, we could see another round of scattered showers and thunderstorms as we will have a front that's going to sag more off to the south. And that will be the focal point where we actually see the thunderstorm. So we'll have to see how that sets up this afternoon, but just know that that possibility is there. As we go through the rest of the morning, we've been dealing with that onshore flow, and that's why we've had some of those thunderstorms pop up just north of that uh, area of low pressure. You can see that batch of rain just off the coast of, of North Carolina right now. So that's been the culprit this morning. It'll be a different culprit as we go into the afternoon. I just talked about that front and uh, an upper level system that will combine with that. So this is what we have in terms of temperatures this morning. Numbers in the upper 70s, the mid 70s, and this this is exactly what we're seeing with the dew points once again. So the muggies, the air that you wear, still lingering today, very soupy, sticky, sultry. You choose your adjective. It's just not the best, not unless you're a fan of the muggy conditions. As we continue through the rest of uh, today, tomorrow, your Sunday, your Monday, it's still going to stay muggy. So the air that you wear, not going anywhere anytime soon. We do have a tropical storm out there in the Atlantic, and this is Tropical Storm Josephine. So the maximum sustained winds now at about 40 miles an hour. Moving fairly quickly to the west northwest at about 17 miles an hour, but luckily there's a thing called shear. And with that, that's going to tear the storm and weaken the storm apart as we go in through the next several days. So hopefully we won't even be talking about Josephine uh, in the next couple of days, even before it gets to uh, the state. So again, we're going to continue to monitor this for you though, but things looking pretty good in terms of Josephine. The future cast, not picking up on a whole lot again this morning, but again, we could see a few more spotty, uh, isolated, scattered showers and thunderstorms as we go more towards the afternoon time frame for today and then we'll do it all over again as we work our way into the weekend. Now the pick of the two days I would say Saturday because Saturday should stay a bit drier than your Sunday. Uh, the storms are likely as we head towards Sunday and temperatures are going to reflect that. Christian back